Hello everyone. I was about to say good morning, but it's four in the afternoon. So obviously we're doing great today. Welcome back to my channel, guys, or welcome to my channel if you are new. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Catherine. Uh, I am a senior at Duke University. And today I'm going to be vlogging the Duke versus Boston College basketball game. So I can't vlog every part of the game because I am on the dance team, so I don't get to like have my phone during the game because I'm like kind of like cheering on and dancing, like it's my, it's my job. So um, I asked a friend who is attempting to do that for me. So I should be getting some fun clips of like people in the student section and all that. So that should be fun. I'm kind of excited for that. And yeah, I'm gonna, it's like four o'clock right now. I have to be at the game at like six. So I'm going to get ready and eat and everything, and then I will head over to the game. Obviously, I have a lot to get ready. It's a Tuesday right now, but um, I my classes were canceled today. Okay, well, one of my classes was canceled, and then I skipped one of my other classes to study because of a big physics exam tomorrow. Physics is hard, so it was more important than psych today. This is actually like the first time I've skipped class and like, Maybe all of my time in college, guys. I have never skipped. This is one of my first times skipping a class. So basically, I'm a rebel. Skip class to study. Yeah. So I'm going to go get ready now. I obviously need to change out of my pajamas at 4 o'clock. Honestly, this, this, is what, this is what Duke is like. It will, this is what it does to you. So I'm going to sit down and get ready. And we will talk about some Duke things and some basketball. So yeah, as I said, I studied instead of going to class today and sometimes that just has to be done because this weekend I had, um, there was a basketball game on Saturday and it was at like 12 so I couldn't really do much before and then I got home at like 2 o'clock and I'm sick, we'll get into that. Um, so and then I had a women's game on Sunday. so. Uh, on the dance team, we also go to um, the women's games, so the women's basketball games, because we have to support everyone, which is, I think it's great that we do that. Um, but it does add up to a lot, like, I mean, three games in four days. And I have a huge exam tomorrow, so we're struggling. I also woke up on Friday morning sick because um, it is tenting season right now and what tenting season essentially means is everyone gets sick and everyone still goes to class when they're sick because you can't just like you know miss all your classes all the time because you get very behind so everyone goes to class and they cough on you and they sneeze on you and you get sick so because with tenting it's kind of it's kind of unavoidable to be sick you're sleeping in like 30 degree weather and yeah, it's just pretty inevitable. We just switched over to white tenting uh, because the UNC game is in like three weeks, I believe, which means uh, with white tenting, uh, only like one person needs to be there during the day and two people need to sleep in the tent at night. Um, I think like all of my friends are tenting this year because my fr I'm a senior and like most people don't have very busy schedules, except for me, I'm in four classes and two labs. We make great choices. Um, but yeah, they're all doing, a lot of my friends are doing white tenting, a lot of my friends did black tenting, but if you did black tenting, that's like, that's like you'll be like kind of first in line for the game. Um, if you did black tenting, you also switch to white tenting at this point. So like black tenting, like half of your tent needs to be there during the day and like everyone needs to be there at night or something. Um, but that, but now only two people need to be there at night, so they have a nice little break now. More about being on a dance team, the time commitment is definitely a lot. Um, as I told you, we had, you know, three games this weekend, and on top of, like, having, you know, classes, because, like, you're ultimately a student, so you have to go to your classes, it definitely is a a lot of time and sometimes it gets to be a lot. On years that we go to nationals, it's even more time because you're practicing. We try to do basically a new routine every game. 
So if you're doing a new routine every game and then practicing a nationals routine, which needs to be like very high skill, very, you know, good in general, um, it just, it, it, it's a lot of time. So spring semester is basically just like a really busy semester because you either, you know, have like rush for either sorority, fraternity, or SLGs. SLGs are like selective living groups. It's basically like co-ed. Think of them as like co-ed sororities or fraternities. Usually they have a common interest um, or, you know, they're just, I, I don't know. Actually, a lot of them don't really seem to have a common interest, um, but they, they're fun. I know a lot of people in SLGs and they're pretty, they're cool people. Um, I was in a sorority, but I dropped my sorority. Um, nothing against my sorority. I still love my sorority. And honestly, I'm like missing it right now because it's like big little reveal. It looks really cute, but it's just like a lot of money and a lot of a lot of seniors drop because like they're not really going to events anymore. Um, which was me. I wasn't going to any events anymore, and I just wanted to spend time with like my friends. Um, and most of my friends aren't in my sorority, or like not that I didn't like people in my sorority, but like my closer friends. Yes, yeah, so you either have um, recruitment going on or you're tenting, or you have a sport. It's just, it's just a lot, especially for uh, being on the dance team. I, I'm just pretty swamped right now, but after spring break, we don't really have practices anymore. We don't, we're not practicing for anything specific. Uh, I al we also will elect a new president, so I believe I will be relieved of my duties. Um, on Dancing Devils, we either, we're, we're primarily like a jazz hip hop team, but lately we've been doing a lot of hip hop and not like hardcore, like, you know, those hip hop videos you see people doing on like YouTube, if that makes any sense, but like kind of like girly fun hip hop. Um, I just think that like, we try to do what the crowd wants and what like what the audience will get excited about. So um, we, and that's like kind of been hip hop because you can do hip hop to more like kind of exciting songs. So we have been doing a lot of hip hop lately and that's definitely uh, a challenge for me because I was a ballet dancer, um, primarily ballet. I did like contemporary and jazz too, but it was definitely like mostly ballet. So it's a little, it's a little hard for me sometimes to do the hip hop, but it is really fun and I think the audience really likes it and I've definitely improved a lot. Like freshman year, yikes, did not want to see me do hip hop, but now it's like, okay, she doesn't suck. So that's good. So makeup is done. I just have to put on red lipstick, um, but I am going to eat first because I would get all over the place if I put on red lipstick now. So I will do that in a minute. I did my makeup, I straightened my hair. I'm gonna add my lipstick soon, but I'm gonna whip myself up a little dinner first, and then I will show you guys my outfit. So this is my outfit for the game. We have these blue sparkly halter tops, say Duke, obviously. Uh, black leggings, cause they're easy to dance in. And I got my pawns, um, and then those are my team shoes, but I put them in my team backpack. Got my initials on it and everything, dancing doubles, super fun. Um, Cause we can't wear our shoes like walking over to the game or else they would get like really dirty. So I wear other shoes and then change into those. So yeah, now I'm gonna eat my dinner and I will get dressed. All dressed, lipstick is on, got my team earrings. And here is the completed outfit. I have my little blue sparkly top, some leggings. Very cute, very cute, and some, uh, these are just the shoes I'm wearing over to the game before I switch into my other shoes. So it's actually like 75 degrees right now in February. So I'm just gonna be wearing my team jacket over this because I don't need like, usually I'll wear like a coat because it's often very cold, but look like, at this grab. Yeah, so this is my team jacket. It just says Dancing Devils and Catherine, so I'm gonna throw that on and then walk over to the game with my friend.
can't believe they extended the white tenters over here. That's too funny. Because they had too many tents. Like, they had too I many would, tents. I would hate to be super close to the road. But you are also farther away from the rest of Cato. So look I, at this little tiny tent. <laughs> like, how does anybody even fit? Isn't that cute? Yeah. Wait, okay, I want to go see the little guys. Cam, what is that? That doesn't make sense. Oh, Cam Radish. RJ Carrot. Oh, that's so cute. This is so good. I love that. the game I don't know what the final score was but it was by a lot of points but we were actually losing in the second in like at the end of the first half so by halftime we were actually losing so that was kind of a surprise because we were like we won by like 20 something ish points at the end so yeah but it was a good game I always like when games aren't like dragged on forever because like when you have to go to every single game and then they like go into overtime you're just like kind of want to be home you know I'm also really hungry so I ordered some pizza which I it's the first time I've done this this year actually but I'm just so hungry and everyone was eating pizza around me at the game I was like I really want some so I did that and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'm gonna end it here maybe I'll show you my pizza but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you like these videos and if you do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye